Hello everyone, welcome to Racing Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity which has been released by DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization, uh, for their uh, lab, which is known as Young Scientist Lab, which is specially inclined towards, um, you know, artificial intelligence research. Now we can go to the official website of DRDO and then we can look out for the notification. Uh, the notification is somewhat uh, it was released on 13th of May. Yeah, here you can see 5th June is the last date for that. And you can click on the advertisement. And this is your advertisement. Uh, so, Young Scientist Lab has a lot of collaborations with topmost colleges out there IITs, ISC Bangalore, IIITs, and various other leading institutions. Now, for uh, this particular notification, they have uh, released the vacancies for junior research fellowship now what is the minimum eligibility criteria here graduate degree uh, b btech is required with um, first division and then your gate score is also required if you are btech student if you are mtech then you don't need a uh, gate score then only and only you need what first division and both graduate and postgraduate level if you are uh, a postgraduate in basic science degrees, then you need uh, net qualification, right? And also first division should be there in your degree. Now, what are the essential qualifications, desirable qualifications, which they have uh, enlisted over here? That means you should have strong fundamentals in problem solving, algorithm design and complexity analysis. After that, um, you should be expert in at least one of the major programming languages like Python, Java, C++ or similar. Apart from that, you should have knowledge of classical um, AI algorithms, machine learning and deep learning techniques. Afterwards, you should have uh, knowledge of uh, software libraries as well. Either one of the following also comprehensive knowledge of speech and language technology including speech and recognition and natural language processing and uh, machine uh, translation or comprehensive knowledge of 3D visions, uh, simultaneous mapping and localization and ROS. Afterwards, comprehensive knowledge of computer vision, including generative models. And after that, comprehensive knowledge of reinforcement learning, right? So these uh, any one of the following should be applicable and total number of four vacancies are released for this particular position. Now, upper age limit always for JRF positions is 28 years as on the date of interview. Age and education qualifications will be calculated, determined on the last date of the submission of the application. Right. And also the age limit is relaxable for SCST categories and three years for OBC. 37,000 rupees per month is the, you know, uh, endo amount which is paid to the people, uh, JRF, Junior Research Fellows and uh, plus HRA as applicable. At, per, at present, it is 30%. Hence, total, it will be paid to you that uh, it is 48,100 rupees. Based on the availability, accommodation can be provided in which case HRA will be deducted. So, if at the center there is a co accommodation then obviously you will be applicable for them right apart from that um, tenure what is the tenure candidate will work initially for the first two years as crf and will subsequently be elevated to srf for remaining two or three years uh, subject to satisfactory performance to be assessed annually and as per the rdo rules so if you want to convert yourself to srf then um, you can convert obviously it is based upon your performance performance should be up to the mark and apart from that um, if you are a government official then obviously there are some other uh, requirements that you need to fulfill right um, young scientist lab ai bangalore reserves the right to amend and modify or to cancel the advertisement so uh, they have the uh, right to you know, cancel out this application as well. It may please to be noted that offer of fellowships do does not confer on fellows any right to absorption in DRDO. So this is fellowship, not uh, recruitment in DRDO, right? It is just a fellowship, just like your MTech programs and everything. Stipend will be paid to you. Uh, application procedure, you can duly fill um, application forms. 
which is downloadable from the official website drdo.gov.in and uh, non-objection certificates and other testimonials as applicable in the case of serving candidates and extra one two three downloadable from the official website cv also education certificate also uh, date of birth as well and um, arrested copy of caste certificate as well so all of these should be self-attested apart from that last date uh, is from 21 days from the publication of the news that is on or before 5th of june right so this is your consideration and uh, let's talk about the selection process so eligible candidates will be shortlisted based upon the gate score or percentage marks obtained in the qualifying degree so whatever your marks are there on the basis of that you'll be shortlisted shortlisted candidates are required to appear um, for online coding examination tentatively uh, on 19th of january details of the examinations will be communicated subsequently through email ids like right? so the process is long and in, it is on 19th of january the examination right so good opportunity do fill the form um, if you are a candidate who is very much inclined towards research and especially in artificial intelligence it is a wonderful opportunity to approach for thank you for watching please do like this video and share it with your friends and do subscribe to our channel